All right. Wow. No one in the chat today. Damn. Uh, would have thought. Would have thought everyone would be lining up for this. This is the Dasung Link, everybody. My goodness, no one's here. That's is that a holiday or something. Jeez. Seriously. I'm not even. I'm not even exaggerating. Like, had the Kobo. I mean, it's a, it's it is a fairly unknown unit. I I do. I do declare, but, uh, yeah, we're going to go over it anyways. Um, we got three people watching right now, and that's a, a stark difference between the, what do we have here on the ellipse, uh, just to kind of see engagement here. Um, so peak was like almost a hundred people. Okay. Well, you guys don't care about the link. I'm, I'm gone. Bye. This is some bull crap. No, I'm kidding. So guys, uh, Dan's here. Perfect. All right. Well, you know what? You guys can watch the VOD. Let's get this going right now uh where am i going all right let's do a top down and get this started now i did not pre-connect this oh you know what i'm going to zoom just a little bit for y'alls y'alls y apostrophe a l l z all right i did not let's turn that uh backlight off that's better for the camera i did not connect it yet because i want to show you guys how difficult this is to use i'm, I'm not trying to make it anything that it's not but it is a difficult unit to get going so let's get going here first thing you have to do is you have to go to the back end here and you have to look for cast or projection screen if you don't have projection screen please type in cast you must cast you have to this thing needs three links to work so we got a dasung link available we have to click that on that links it to this connecting Connect Ted. All right, so we're connected now. That's the first step. This might run out of batteries, by the way, but don't worry, we can use a cable. So that's the first step, step one. Now we go back and see it's connected, right? But you can't actually use the touch yet. So you have to go to apps, then you have to go to the Dasung Link application. Then you have to go down here to this one and click that, wait for it to connect, and then click DS Link. Okay, now once that's done, you still can't use this side. Now you have to go to Bluetooth and click on this. You must connect, we are already, but the third thing you must do, cast app Bluetooth. You must click DS Link 44. Once that is connected, as you can see here, get some focus going here. Why is it focusing? There it is, connected. Now that that is connected, you can finally use this. Okay, yeah, we can. I've okay, so you see that. Now, that's it, guys. That's the whole video. Bye. <laughs> There's nothing else you can do. We'll go to some questions. Let's see. Dan Turley, yo. All right, hi. All right, that's it. We're done. So we have to go over the reality of this thing because the thing about the link is I really want to like it and I really want to fully appreciate the unit but i'm you know we we had a couple board meetings when we sit around the table basically about this unit i'm actually looking up the price right now because i cannot remember the price offhand it's not cheap that's the biggest thing about this whole thing that's the thing that holds it back really i'm not even joking i'm just gonna type in link is it set up to show me one time thing or each time you use it the cast and the app every single time you use it if you already have remembered your ds link 44 then that'll be already in there but you still have to turn bluetooth on and all of this has to constantly be connected in order to use the unit so i'm just going to look up link real quick because this is going to just change everything guys this is it's not even cheap it's 480 dollars if the phone is locked can the link unlock it that's a very good question i don't know let's see locked okay locked right you can wait a minute does this have a okay this one doesn't have a password it's swipe to um to um uh, swipe up to unlock let's let's put a pin real quick just as a a little bit of a joke here it doesn't matter what we put yeah what does it cost 480 dollars which is more than this I, I'm it, it, correct me if I'm wrong. I'm, we try not to be rude here. We're completely unbiased. We're completely impartial. We don't work with anybody in the industry in terms of having someone dictate what we say, what we should say, what we should do. This is the most 
It's one of the most useless e-ink devices on the market. I mean, prove me wrong. There's a bunch of people, a bunch of people talking about use cases. And I'm going to get to that in a second. Oh, just hear me out. Honestly, I'm not trying to be uh, overly critical, but just watch. So can I do a... Wow, this has some skinned Android, man. I can't even find out what to do here. Pay guard, sensitive, app lock, other security. Where's just like a regular pin? You know what I mean? Here, uh, let's do pin. Let's just type in pin pin Lo oh lock screen no that's pinned lock screen oh my gosh this thing is massively skinned from traditional android okay uh uh geez i don't even know what to type in lock it wasn't even under okay lock screen swipe to up unlock and lock screen can i please okay can i please add a does anyone know how to add something on this like legitimately the user ease i can see is eye comfort absolutely i agree with you and trust us we do have some takes on that why am i not able to find how to add oh my goodness how do i add security on this okay uh face and password there it is okay use password jeez guys i'm just gonna go one 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 and then one 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 all right got it password all right okay watch this turn that off unlock I can't unlock it because that UI element doesn't show up on here until I'm in and then it should cast over. Okay, so you can't unlock it from your phone. Now listen guys, we are very uh, um, patient here with devices and we love Dasong. They're a great company, but this is useless and I'll tell you why. I will tell you why. We've had some people bring it to our attention when we were talking about the unit at uh, our little meeting. We're like, okay, well you can use it as a decoy. It's like, yeah, you can. Absolutely. If you're traveling in, I don't know, uh, Laos, which is typically a very kind of dangerous place for a tourist to be, like a North American tourist. I have my phone in my pocket, right? I put this in my pocket. It's gone. I can still use my phone, but... Okay, it's still good, yeah. But if I lock it once, right? Let's go down. Link is locked. Press the power button to unlock. Okay bad example if this gets locked by a screen timeout i can't unlock my phone now if this is in my hand like this i have to then go okay well i gotta take my phone out go like this type my password in okay now I'll put that back in my pocket now i got this so there's that as well that that doesn't make sense that this doesn't have the cast priority to utilize the lock screen until you get past the lock screen then you can function with the cast that's already set up okay so that's kind of troublesome now there's also the one where you want to show someone something you don't want them touching your phone here sandra have my phone okay we're gonna go over this for 10 minutes it's not like you can just be like okay well sandra's looking at my thing now i'm just gonna go like this and go play angry birds and stuff everything you're doing is showing up on that so you've eliminated the fact that you're able to give this to someone as a secondary because you can't even, you know, waste time with doing anything else whilst Sandra's using your phone. So it's like, okay, well, that use case is out the window. I completely agree with you guys, though. If you have an LCD LED phone, which the reason we're not doing is because the cat, the link just doesn't work with almost anything. And I'll get to that in a second, too. Seriously, it doesn't work with Android 13 which has been out for a while, meaning that any new phone can't work on this. So I can't even use my Sony to show you guys. The only way I can show you is this because we tried using some Apple devices and it doesn't work with anything south of an iPhone 10. So this 7 or an 8 won't work. So the amount of things that it just cannot work with is astronomical. And the fact that this needs to be connected in three ways just to use it. And look how big this is. This is a massive phone and it's super heavy and it requires this chunky dunker of a battery case because if you take it out of the battery case, it doesn't have batteries. It runs hot enough that it warrants a heat sink with a vent. That's a vent. That's not the speaker. Speaker's up top and at the bottom. That's a heat sink release. There's a heat sink under there and that releases air and, and heat from the unit. <laughs> And if you if you just if you justify it any way you want to, it's four hundred and eighty dollars USD. Honest to goodness, if this was eighty three bucks, 
it's the greatest thing ever. If it was a panel that was 83 Bobos, maybe 109, I would buy it because it, it that is a completely justifiable amount for what this does. But the fact that this costs you more than your phone, you don't want this to get stolen while you're traveling. Oh, it's just a decoy. No, that's a that's five bills I just lost. Granted, I, I, it, it's even more if I bought the battery case. And if I didn't buy, buy the battery case, I can't use it. Because if you don't buy the battery case, the whole thing about having this in your person, in your little travel satchel, and you using this, goes out the window because you'd have a cable going to a portable battery, a 10,000 milliamp battery in your pocket, you have a big ass cable. So it's like, then you got all these, you're walking around like a robot. You got this connected to that and that connected to that. It's absolutely crazy. I'm not even joking here, guys. We have worked tirelessly to find out why you would buy this thing. And the reason you would buy it is if you have a ton of disposable income and you feel that your Android 12 or below LCD LED device is too hard on your eyes, then you would buy that because it makes sense. You can have this charging in your bedside table and then you could use this freely and be like, okay, all right. Oh, that's actually better. Okay. Oh, wait, it's getting dark out. Let me just turn the light on. Oh, wait, I locked it. Actually, that's actually a real mistake. <laughs> okay, there, there's my light. Okay. You see, you see what I mean? So, like, there you go. There, there's, there's, your, there's your justification. Now, screen, look, use case aside and price aside, because we have to extend an olive branch. This is fantastic. It is so clear. It's 300 PPI. It looks better than that. And it's faster than that. It, it honestly is. This is a high sense touch. This is the... Uh, Dasung Link, it's so good and it's so quick and you get all these speed modes. You get fast all the way to fast, plus, 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 and it is so damn quick. Dasung, this is a good example, Dasung and Hisense, because these two have the fastest refreshes in the industry, hands down. It is absolutely insane how fast this is. And this is built well. I can almost kind of understand where a couple Billy Goats went into this thing because it is built extraordinarily well. It is tight. It is flush. It is clean. All the materials feel great. Everything's lined and tooled perfectly. You get this nice soft touch button at the back with the, the battery indicator. You get the heat sink with a little perforated design. It's so nice, guys. So for that, at face value, the, the, the attention to detail is crazy. They have a half translucent quadrant cutout of the crosshatch diamond pattern power button to have an led indicator built in you get stereo speakers on it two usb ports and a headphone jack it's great it is honestly very very good and i like it a lot but you have to consider the reality is that it's 500 bucks i can buy a used xperia 5 mark ii for 500 bucks and i got a crazy ass lcd phone and you might be saying well it's not e-ink you're right but then i think someone said here jared you can just buy an iPhone, uh, sorry, you can buy a Hisense A9 Pro for less than this, and it's significantly better. And then you don't have to worry about the e-ink hurdle. If e-ink is a, a concern of yours, and it is for us because we love e-ink uh, and e-paper screens, but if it is a concern that much, just buy an e-paper e phone. Because again, this is acting as an annex. It's a peripheral to your phone with an e-paper screen. Well, you can just buy an, uh, an A9 Pro. You can buy a high, re uh, a high reader Pro. You can buy an A7CC. Maybe get some color on there, which I actually recommend. I actually recommend if you're going this route, just kind of bypass the link and just go right to the source. But there's plenty of Hisense phones right now. Hisense phones are built beautifully. Look at this thing. This is a touch. This one has symmetrical speakers on both sides. This thing is crazy. This is a hi-fi music player. It's basically a DAP. And it has a headphone jack. It's got a dedicated e-ink button to do things that you can assign to it, like a double tap, a triple tap, you know what I mean? It's a long press. It, it, it's it's a great unit in and of itself. It's compact, it's slim, and it just, it costs less than this. Uh, Hisense does have Google, uh, certain models of Hisense, if you buy them from Ali or something like that, I believe some of them have Google Play, but they're hacked, they're, they're, they're rooted, they're not from factory, no. Let's go to some questions here. Dan Turley, have any phone the problem with network? app and feature feature support had to go with a normal phone having a monitor would fix this you are correct dan if you have that situation and an extra 500 bucks you can do this 
Jared, thank you for your honesty. This device, has, this device has few practical applications. That's what it is. It has few applications. If I have to carry two devices, this is a lot of stuff, guys. I'm not even kidding. That's a lot of crap to carry on your person. This is some chunky stuff. Really. It's almost like a, a Tupperware at that point. You would put carrot sticks in. This is huge. This is a massive undertaking to be like, okay, I'm going to go out in the world, grab my Dasung Link, and see what's up get my cappuccino at the store it's just it's a lot man dan turley can the monitor send voice to the phone duh yeah maybe that's a very good point let's go to ink browser and go into the um it does have a microphone okay there's a microphone how am i gonna block that okay uh can i just put this far away i'm gonna whisper into the phone oh i know i'll just do a voice recording yeah and then i won't talk into that okay do they have a voice recorder on this? It should be in the tools. Notes. Should be under notes. I have a little voice recorder in there. Oh, no. It, it's called recorder. All right. So I'm just going to put this over here. Right over there. I'm going to put this over here and I'm going to whisper into it. No, I have to allow. All right. Let's see where that comes out. Okay. So we're going to check mark that. Save it as test. That's a good question, guys. Recording file saved. Okay, go to the list and play it back. Whoa. Oh. That that didn't do volume. That's kind of weird. There's a volume button. You just turn up all the way, and this should cast to this. Nope, didn't pick anything up. It's picking it up from here. I'm almost sure of it. Let's go back and let's try it again. I'm gonna go back to recording. I'm gonna do the same thing. Put that. I'm gonna put that over here now. Dasung link, and here's the high sense. See what happens now. This is me talking into the high sense. Check mark that. Let's call it test number. Whoops, I went back. Uh, go to tools. Go to notes. No. Man, you gotta stop doing that. It's in recorder. Okay, call it twist. There we go. And let's see what's going on here. Go to there and let's play it back from. Oh, yeah, it's gonna play out of here though. So let's see. This is me talking into the high sense. Yep. So this doesn't cast voice through that, but this will cast audio through this. So you can't even use this as a phone. And I just realized while I'm, uh, while I'm talking to you guys, I already knew that. I don't know why I didn't bring attention to it. It doesn't have an earpiece. And it doesn't have a mouthpiece. So we even said that in the review, I believe. So no, you can't use it as a phone. Oh my god, it's dwindling, guys. Even when we we're going to extend the third olive branch, we're like, even if you get a call, while this, again, is in your satchel, and you got your desk on link, you're like, oh, I got a call. Hello? 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 Oh, crap. Um, uh, zip. Okay, I got this. Hello? You know what I mean? Like, it's just falling apart here, guys. Uh, normal phones are painful for me to look at. Yes, you are correct, Dan. 100%. Simon, have we found a sensible use for this yet? Yes, if you had. Uh, we, we've come to a conclusion, Simon. Uh, <laughs> someone said nope. Yeah, it really, though. If LCD bothers you, and you have an Android version, not too old, but not 13 lower than 12 higher than 8.1 or you have an iphone higher than 10 lower than the top then and you had 500 dollars that you don't mind losing then yeah then you can buy it but then you can't use it as a phone and you're reliant on carrying around this bigger than my head and it's heavy. This has to weigh. Wow. You know what? Actually, let's go down here because I do have a scale off camera here. That's a good. Uh, this is a good time to check this out. Honestly, how much does this all weigh? Because it's some heavy stuff. I'm not joking. All right, we got grams here, everyone, for 98% of the world. So here's my Xperia phone, right? This is a regular uh, LCD phone. So we got 218 grams. Perfect. And now we got the Hisense phone which is 159 grams, okay? Now we have this, and yes, you need the battery case. If you don't have the battery case, the unit doesn't have any batteries. 293 
what was my Xperia again? 218. This is almost 300 grams, guys. Wow. That's crazy. That's pretty crazy, man. Uh, Forever Cade says, sounds perfect. Simon Gordon, you sound like Goldilocks choosing your chair in a bowl of porridge. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Felipe Borges, great concept. You know what? Oh, hey, mom. Yeah, you know what, Felipe? This is a great concept, and it was executed perfectly under every possible measurable metric except price. Except price. Because it's built well, it works, and it has lots of ways to use it. You can use it with a cable, propped up on a phone stand, with a wireless battery case. There's lots of options. So, yeah, it is executed almost half a kilo. Yeah, <laughs> Well, no, but yeah, I know what you mean. Um, a third of a kilo. This is executed quite nicely. But the part they failed... And the reverse touch does under extreme circumstances. Again, if you're just joining us, three connection methods. In-app connection, Bluetooth, and a constant cast. And it's not even guaranteed that every phone has cast. Not everyone does. And if you don't, it has projection screen, which is another way to connect. And if you don't have that, well, you're boned. This... I like it. I don't love it. And having it given to us free of charge as a sample is great. Great. Would I buy it? Um, I honestly say I could never see myself buying this unit unless there's a price drop. Honest to goodness. Okay. It doesn't need to be 80 bucks because that's unrealistic nowadays. But if this was, I'm trying to think of a good, just impulse purchase, not a millionaire, two what what's a what's a leaf two right now 219 um oasis is like 430 for an oasis 3 lte 32 gig in canada so uh i'd say i'd do like 209.99 for that for for, for 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 what i have to do to make this work and what it offers me after the fact to both to 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 billy goats anything north of that i'm not sure we can justify this but again if you're having eye issues and you see i'm stalling because this device doesn't have functionality because it, it just mirrors that so there's nothing else i can say about it i've already told you you know what it can be used for in the build quality that that's it so there's nothing else i can do for what it is it has potential you know what they have to do you know what they honestly have to do they have to clean up the compatibility the compatibility is a mess android 13 and below no, sorry, sorry. It doesn't work with 13. 12 and below, but not below 8.1. And if you have an iPhone, if you're just joining us again, if you have an iPhone 6, 7, 8, which a lot of people still have, it doesn't work. So the 7 here that we're going to test with doesn't work. Everyone's like, hey, can you do a, 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 a an, I, an iPhone comparison? We're like, yeah, yeah, sure. It doesn't, doesn't work. And I wanted to use it with an LCD to kind of show you guys the stark difference between LCD, LED, and e-ink but i can't because it doesn't work so even these things that were not even brand new this is the xperia one mark three and it's i've already had it for over a year so you're telling me that even if i have an old phone with a recent android like i have to not update it just to use this thing that can't even really be used for anything imagine reading in bed while this falls on your face what so uh i know a lot of you guys are from the uk and uh America, and to a lesser extent, who else uses uh, Imperial? Liberia uses Imperial, but that... I don't think we've ever even seen someone from Liberia before. What? How much is 300 grams? So, three... Oh, I guess I should do ounces. 0 0.6 pounds. Mm. 10 ounces. 10.5 ounces of plastic steak falling on your face. Imagine if the corner gets it right in the eyebrow and you get a big red lump. Just because you were like, damn it, I just wanted to read on e-paper. And you launch it, or you're about to launch it across the room, and you're like, oh, it's $500. You put it down nicely on my bedside table. And then it runs out of batteries. This thing takes a long time to charge. That fat battery. That is a that is a double cheeseburger supreme battery, man. It's a big one. And it gets hot. I'm going to show you right now. Watch. Okay, because we're done, basically. If I take this out of the case, it just severs all the connections, really, because uh, the battery's in the case watch severed that's it it's gone 
And now this thing's pretty light. <laughs> like, really, here, let's check it out. Let's check out how heavy this is without a battery case. Legitimately, let's see. Uh, hold on. Okay, I'm pretty good at this, kind of. Okay, what was this? One, 190, 195, one, one, 190. I'm going to say one, 142. Ah, 155. I'm pretty good at that, honestly. I, I waste up a lot. 155 without, and it doesn't work now. It's, it's, there's no battery in this. This is a, just a PCB and that's a heat sink. That's not, a, that's not a battery bulge. So if you're thinking you're going to get away with just using this and, and not this massive battery case, you, you can't, but there are still two USB ports at the bottom. One for the battery case and one to power the device. So just really... Oh, actually, you know what? Uh, to answer your question, no, you can't use it as a tiny monitor. This brings us into another thing. Say you wanted, you got a good deal on eBay for one of these new missing battery cases. You're like, oh, I'm going to buy it. You can't even use it as a monitor because it won't work with tablets or computers because it doesn't crop and scale. What does that mean? If I use it on a... Um, I don't know, a Samsung tablet, right? To have something that looks like a tablet around me. Um, I don't know, here, a piece of paper, right? So if I, use, here, I have a tablet and I'm going to use it on this, all you're going to see is that. <laughs> you're going to see a portion of the tablet. It doesn't scale. It moderately scales little tiny things like cell phones and, you know, kind of bigger, longer, elongated slates, like widescreen slates. It doesn't actually scale tablets. I asked them. And we had a meeting with them and we said, hey, does this work with a tablet? We have like, you know, Blackview and Oscill and stuff like that. It doesn't work. Yeah. Uh, yes, it does power up with USB-C. You don't need it to, um, let's get a USB-C here. Got one here. You don't need the battery case. It's just, like I said, Simon, if you're, if you got this on your person, right? If you got this in your satchel and you're traveling, dangerous place, right? Oh, I don't want to lose my phone. Cool. Put it right here. And you got your Dasung with your battery case right so someone steals it oh you stole my thing haha ha. my phone's right here and you lock it and they can't use it but they just stole 500 dollars from you your data's secure but they stole your crap so say you don't have the battery case you can use it but what you would have to do is get a portable battery the long ass usb cable plug it into here wrap it around your body and then you put it in your pocket and you can use it connected to that. You know what I mean? So, yeah, uh, let's power it up. Watch. So if you plug it into that's what is that? The monitor or that's the power? I think this one. Oh, does it like not even? No, I think it's this one. Right? There's two USB ports. There you go. Yeah, so it does work when it's plugged in, but then you have to plug it in. So it kind of defeats the purpose. Because now you just have to plug it in. So, I mean, there's nothing much more I can say about that. It's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, if it can make calls and do Siri, no, it can't do that. I'm from Brazil. Cool. So you know grams for sure. Uh, so does it work as a tiny monitor? Nope. And it needs to auto-connect setup each time? Yep. And would it power up if you charge USB-C? Yep. So that's the that's link, guys. Beautifully built. Beautifully crafted by a very reputable company that has the fastest refresh on the market who pioneered what 27 speed modes astronomical great fast um, amazing my recommendation to you guys buy it used don't buy a new one because it is very expensive and if you buy a used one you might get a couple pennies off but um yeah it's it's the way it, oh i'm late to the party i'm drowning in university essays in one more week oh steven prosser what's up man yeah no problem you can always watch the vods but thank you for stopping by yeah um you do need you know there's there's also three versions of this there's the wired version the wireless version and the apple version so even when you're buying this you have to always see look it disconnected everything so you have to reconnect everything back up all over again and if you saw the um connection procedure it's a, it's a, yeah, it's a big thing. So uh, that's it, everyone. Um, uh, we tried to be very nice. We gave Dasung the benefit of doubt. It actually took us 15 days to set this up. 15 days. That is not an exaggeration. It actually did. It took uh, 14 and a half days. 
um, three meetings with Da Sung, a couple board meetings, uh, throwing this around the office um, in, a, in a blind rage to get it to actually connect because it needs to be connected in such a precise procedure on just a very few select amount of phones. And once you do, you actually take features away from your phone like an earpiece and a mouthpiece. And you're left with a gigantic $500 stack of money in the form of plastic that has already depreciated because you've opened it and it's probably worth $175 on eBay after the fact, which is why I'm telling you to buy it used. So that's the Dasung link, everyone, every, every bun, everyone, everybody. If you guys want to grab one of these, it's available in the store. But uh, I would honestly recommend for now, maybe skip the link and look at some high sense phones because everything that this is that they've done exists within Hisense. Hisense has a full line of devices. No, we're bye bye. Uh, fa, Falietto ch. No, we're not pioneer. Uh, we're not um, advocating for Hisense. They don't pay us and nothing like that. But Hisense is the only brand that makes e ink phones. You can argue all day long and say Kyocera makes one and the Light Phone makes one and Onyx has one from 2011. They're all crap. Every single one. The Mudita phone is crap. The Motorola button press uh, x60 or something with an e-paper screen which is pearl or some crap from 1990 uh, uh 2004 it's crap they're all crap only high sense is good that is an irrefutable fact they're the only guys they white label to other companies like face note as well for them to utilize their phones because they're the only guys that make phones don't buy a link for now exactly what uh, felipe said wait for generation two they're gonna refine some stuff open up compatibility maybe add an earpiece make it an actual usable decoy phone which would be great for now, buy a high sense, buy an A9. A9 is cheaper than a Dasung Link and it does 87,000 things more than the Dasung Link will do. And you don't have to carry around a lunchbox. That's it, everyone. Thank you guys so much. Faleto, uh, Felipe, J.A., uh, Stephen Prossman, Simon Gordon, always nice to hear from you. Dan Turley, uh, we got uh, Four Evercade Project, we got my mom, we got Badu Doya, 4444, Jared Championi, and I said Dan Turley. Who do we got here? Any suggestions for a tiny e ink screen? I've built stuff with WaveShare and Raspberry Pi. Tiny e ink? You can go with the M5 stack. You can go with the WaveShare. You can go, actually, when we have a partner, no, not the same company. We have a partner, Good Displays. They have a whole bunch of panels on their site. Um, SES and Magatag isn't um, uh, programmable. Uh, and would you say program? Um, Santec? Santec has some stuff, yeah. Um, uh, yeah, those guys. Um, Santec. M5 stack, the uh, S uh, what do you, not SES and Magatag. I keep going to those guys. Who'd you just say? Uh, WaveShare. WaveShare is really good. That's what they kind of you know specialize in. Um, something programmable. E Ink, I believe, sells test kits on their website. They're like it's just exposed PCB, a bunch of pins and stuff, little test buttons, right? Like glow light button, power button, all that crap. So yeah, thanks guys so much. Um, tried to give it the benefit of the doubt, but it's all doubts. So you guys are fantastic. See you next week. We're here every single week. We have a absolute backlog of devices we're already just as is the next three weeks are already like accounted for we got two me books and a eye reader just sitting there and we already did the ellipsa but lots more stuff coming from pocketbook and uh everyone everyone guys oh it's a lot of stuff thanks so much